the next video about the slug tuned shortwave radio that I'm working on. It was more or less difficult. But it was an experiment and um, well, for me also a new learning moment. That's what we call that in Dutch. Leermoment. Maar, sorry, but everything works okay at the moment. I'm receiving Radio China on an uh, indoor antenna of 4 meters. Of course, Radio China is a very, very, very strong shortwave station that you can receive with almost everything. So it's no proof that this circuit will work. Also re uh, by receiving weak radio stations, but all the principles are okay. And the slug tuned antenna coil is here. I have by purpose here made this uh, tuning capacitor parallel to that um, antenna coil. It's an old school tuning capacitor and they are completely obsolete. But perhaps you can find them on radio free markets. And I can tell you that that works very good. Such a tuning um, capacitor is approximately, say, 3 picofarad up to 50 picofarad or so. That tunes the antenna coil here. Uh, the IF filter, I used uh, 800 kilohertz filters that I had in my store. And that were not real IF filters, so the bandwidth proved to be somewhat high. But anyway, I told about that earlier in the preceding videos. So I've mounted here now that filter 468 kilohertz instead of that first. coil. And um, I did kind of trick with that first coil. I um, soldered over the secondary, the frequency dependent winding, three capacitors of 1500 picofarad in a row. I tested that out and with these three in a row we have of course one third of 1500 picofarad. That is bridged now to the uh, frequency dependent winding and then I found out that I was with this filter on say approximately 468 kilohertz. So the filter works in a certain way. Um, it's only here in the first transistor, the mixer transistor in the collector lead, the in-coupling winding and then there is that um, out-coupling winding with these three capacitors. But from the in-coupling winding we have, I have connected this filter. So there are two factors. The, uh, the, the coil now that hangs in a certain way in the collector lead of the first transistor, the mixer transistor, and is tuned to 468 kilohertz. And the crystal filter that sends the signal out of the collector lead to the field effect transistor, that's here. And the second IF filter is also tuned now to 468 kilohertz. I've done the same here. Bridge the frequency dependent winding with a capacitor of say 700 picofarad. 
amplification of the second stage of the IF amplifier is set to the max maximum here with that tuning uh, potentiometer in the emitter lead. My aim was to um, uh, get the IF filter connected to ground. And here is a diode. I'm almost sure it is a, a germanium diode. And I've lifted the um, capacitor of the filter to the output of that germanium diode up to a value of 100 nanofarad. And then it goes to the IF amplifier that's here, etc. etc. So finally that proved to work a little bit. Now receiving Radio China. A lot of noise that has to do with fading and also with the transistors that I used. They also generate noise and noise has many sources. Atmospheric noise, noise inside the transistor, uh, noise of all kinds of uh, devices in my room and outside my room perhaps uh, all kinds of other devices electronic devices uh, modems etc and also perhaps uh, noise generated by all kinds of other sources anyway noise is a whole science but I'm receiving now Radio China. Let's tune in with the help of the slug tuned VFO to other stations. Let's try. I hope that it works. I have to put my camera a little bit down. I use two hands. I have to use two hands. Anyway. So you can see here that when I tune that ferrite rod, it's very critical. Radio China. And another radio station. So that's far from ideal. When it comes to tuning, and here the radio stations are gone. Of course they are not gone, but I don't receive them any longer. And slurp tuning has always the problem of temperature changes, distance changes here between the coil and the rod, etc. etc. Anyway, it works in a certain way. And everything is unshielded here. No problem in such a first situation when the whole circuit is in a more definite way. Uh, perhaps I use shielding of the IF amplifier. And let's tune the antenna coil. So now the radio station fades away because uh, the antenna coil is not tuned. Now it is at its maximum and here it fades away again. So also here a kind of problematic tuning anyway. It works and that's very important. It works. So I think that the beat frequency oscillator uh, I have to move it, perhaps I have to use it in another schematic. 
and will use this radio only for uh, say commercial shortwave radio stations. And there is hand effect. I had, I had not expected that. So I have to cover this knob with plastic, with a big plastic knob, to prevent the effect of my hand on the VFO tuning. I had not expected that because here there is tin plate, etc. etc. Anyway. And I think I'm living here in an environment with a lot of noise. On my preceding house I didn't have so much noise around my radio shack. Anyway. <laughs> 